Okay. I want you guys to remember, in order to all, add all your images in, remember to hit the plus sign. Let's go back one more. Let's go back a step, just in case you guys didn't know how to add your extra frames inside the sprite category. All you gotta do is put add in the piece, the PCX paper right here. You hit add. And that's how you add all your images in. And remember, you gotta add, you gotta add each image, uh, image number. So mine's like I said. All my images are part of group zero, but like I said, each image has their own number. So my first image right here is group zero, image zero. My, my second image is group zero, image one, and so forth and so on. Okay, now we will move on to the next step. It's very easy. Remember, like I said, remember the death file from stage zero, and you had to tweak it up in order to make your stage? Well, remember, we're going to do that again. Get stage zero after you make your stage. And we're going to open up the dev file once again. We're going to revisit everything. But this time we don't really need much. So basically what we're going to do is this time, when you open up your dev file, remember when I said scroll all the way down to the bottom? And when you see window equals uh, equals 00319239, remember that? And I told you erase everything at the bottom? Well this time, we're going to have to, we're going to, have to, we're going to add everything back in order to get our animations working. So you have to retype everything in, which is very simple. So, basically what we're doing is right here, we're going to move down and type in bracket. You type in the bracket and put background one, because this is a background image one. And right here is the type. In order for your animation to work, it has to, the type has to equal animation right here. And don't worry about this. This is action number. Action number is the um is, is the number that the um that the actions in Fighter Factory is being used in order to activate the um the animation. And don't worry about layers. Layers are not really important for this tutorial. So now after that, make a semicolon right here and make a space line. Cause now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this put a bracket again and type in begin action one and the and the uh, and close it with a bracket. So basically right here you're going to have underneath it five zeros and basically with the five with the five zeros means this is used th these zeros are used to activate the um, the um the animation so make sure you close everything with the brackets so we're going to move down the first the first two zeros right here are group and image which is found inside fighter factory so let's go over here see group and image so the first one starting off is going to be zero 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 so let's open it let's go put it back to the dev file so now we're going to put everything else back in don't worry about don't worry about these right here these extra lines back here I'll get to that in a minute so the next one, since I got since I got nine pictures, mine's is gonna be nine frames. So I gotta put nine rows of zeros. So basically it's like this. Zero one, which is group which is group zero, image one. Bring back up my death file again. And the next one is zero two, which is group zero, image two. Since, like I said, I have nine frames, so I have nine rules. So it's going to be 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, 0, 7, and 0, 8. So, after that, we're going to move on back to 0, 1 again, this row. So you guys are wondering, okay, what's this extra stuff right here? Now, these two zeros right here, I, re I, really, don't re I really don't know you know what these two zeros are for but you have to put these two zeros in but to me I believe that these two zeros are to posi the positioning of your stage which in the last tutorial you guys learned how to position your stage the, such as the Y and X axis so you don't have to worry about that they all have to be zeros don't mess with that put zeros in on this uh, for this section right here now you guys are wondering what the third uh, what the 30 is for now the 30 is for is my for is my frames remember the time that I put yeah my time is 35, but right here I put 30 because I, I didn't like how I looked it with 35, so I put it on 30. 
so right here, this last, these la this last column right here, you put in what your time is. Put your time in right here, which is 30 for each row, in order for your animation to move smoothly like you want it. So let's go back and review. Remember, you all got to put begin action one, and the first line is, is the first line right here is always all zeros. So this is group zero, image zero, and you go down to how many whatever your frames are. That's how many rows you got to make. So remember. Since I put in my tutorial nine images, which is nine frames, you have to put I have to put nine rows in. So, so your, your um your image your row count starts with zero. So, like I said, group zero, image zero, group zero, image one, group zero, image two, groups group zero, image three, and etc. And remember, you all, you have to put these two zeros in. You have to put the two zeros in. And don't don't change the number. Just keep them as two zeros. And like I said, the last line right here is the time that you put your that you put your animation in. And like I said, my animation time is 35, but I changed it to 30 because I like how it looked. So whatever your animation time is, depending on you, depending on you, the creator, you put it in right here. So basically, we are basically done. So what you do is you exit out and you save it. And now we're going to test it out on Muji. There you have it, guys. See the animation moving? It should be done, and it's very simple. Now, everyone knows how to create stages, and everyone knows how to create animation for their stages. And I really want to thank Cypher Lucius and Freedom37 because if it wasn't for those guys, I want to know how to create stages or animation so I can post a tutorial up for you guys to check out. So I really want you guys to check out Cypher Lucius channel and Freedom37 channel. These guys have some great um, content for you guys to check out and I really appreciate it. So hopefully on Mujin TV, you guys can send me a few stages or animation that you guys created so everyone can check out. So peace out. Have a good day. And hopefully I'll upload some more uh, content for you guys to check out. Peace.